Hello everyone. I am going to read, I have seven habits of happy kids. Last year I read seven habits of happy kids from a large book. And these are new stories that I um, received at MESPA when I talked to the gentleman at the Sean Covey um, booth he, and told him that I read that, I have read that to you guys. He said that he had this collection and gave it to me. So I wanted to make sure and share that with all of you so that you can get a chance to um, read them with me and see what they're all about too. So this first one is Just the Way I Am, Habit One. And these are with the same characters that I talked about last year. And here we go, Just the Way I Am. Pokey Porcupine was sad. Every time he walked by Biff Beaver, Biff made fun of him. Hey, Pokey, your quills look like a pile of toothpicks. Pokey would go home and look in the mirror. Biff is right, thought Pokey. My quills are ugly. So ugly, I'm not going to school anymore. His friends tried to help. I like your quills, said Goob Bear. They're spiky. He's being outlandish, said Soapy Squirrel. Out what? said Sammy Squirrel. It means silly, said Soapy. There's nothing wrong with your quills. I think he's wooed, said Tagalong Alley the mouse. You're a porcupine. You're supposed to have quills, said Jumper Rabbit. Just like I'm a rabbit. I'm supposed to be bouncy. He wiggled his quills up and wiggled his quills down. They made a nice tinkly sound in the wind. They sparkled in the sun. Pokey decided that his quills weren't so bad. I like myself, he thought, just the way I am. The next day, Pokey went back to school. How come your quills poke out so far, said Biff. Pokey smiled and walked away. He was not going to let Biff ruin his day. The next morning, Pokey decided he liked his quills so much, he would show them off at school. All of his friends gathered around him. And if you can see, he's putting glitter on his quills to make them sparkly. <laughs> I wish I had quills said Biff. And there's Biff Beaver wishing that he had quills now. So here are some questions for you about the story about just the way I am with Pokey Porcupine. Why was Pokey sad? What did Pokey's friends do to do to try to make him feel better? What helped Pokey like his quills again? What did Pokey do when Biff Beaver made fun of his quills at school the next day? Did Biff like Pokey's quills at the end of the story? And what made Biff change his mind? Has anyone ever said something to you that hurt your feelings? What did you do about it and who is in charge of being happy or sad? 
So even adults get their feelings hurt sometimes. And you just have to find those things that make you happy or make you sad. Or find those things that make you happy and not make you sad. So you are in charge of how you deal with things that happen. And it's all about your attitude, which is something we're talking about this month, is having a positive attitude. And how are you going to look at that? At first, you know, um, Pokey was sad and didn't like himself. And then was kind of really looking in the mirror. And his friends were telling him all these cool things about his quills. And he realized that, you know, he shouldn't be ashamed of his pokey quills. And so then he decided to dress him up. So he, he had a positive outlook and um, came back to school with um, his quills all decorated. And um, then what happened? Biff Beaver wanted to have quills. So, but what could we do to extend that story? If Biff Beaver is feeling like he wanted to have quills now, then he might not be liking himself. So what could we do to help him feel better? Hmm. And the story continues. So you can think about that stuff and talk about that if you'd like to in class. And I do want to say that... Um, I have a book called The Good Seed and the Bad Seed. I did read The Bad Seed on a video for all of you, but I also now have The Good or the good Egg. It's The Bad Seed and The Good Egg. So I would like to come into the classroom and read The Good Egg to you. So teachers, if you could let me know a time and a day that you would like me to come in and read The Good Egg to your class, that would be awesome. All right, I hope you enjoyed the book and we'll do um, habit number two here soon. Thanks guys.